90% of the soil on this island they believe to be human ash. You had Venice in the distance there behind Checkmate and his water tower. Hundreds, if not thousands of people that obviously died on this island during the time of tuberculosis more than likely would have all made their way to this tube at one point. I mean, it is very unsettling. Good morning, guys. All right. Slept pretty good. What are you making, man? Pasta. Pasta with pesto. pesto. Of course, for breakfast. Of course, pasta with pesto for breakfast. So we're going to get up, have some breakfast, get on the road, start heading towards Venice. Let's go. Hello. We're heading towards Venice. Let's go. So we decided to do a bit of a pit stop, but for a very important reason. This absolutely immaculate view. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I know the weather's pretty nasty right now, but keep walking for a bit and see what the view brings us. Now I gotta wait, because you got much left. <laughs> Bye. There's a light at the end of the tunnel here. Wow, what a view. I'm basically on the edge of a sheer cliff right now. Just a vertical drop underneath these trees. Oh, that looks pretty sick, even climbing up. Yeah, slippery as shit. Be careful. Yeah, thank you. Hey, puppy. Hello, oh, hey, puppy. Fine. Don't touch the filth foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> Just for clarification, I'm the filthy foreigner. That's what he means. Beautiful view. Puppy! Are you right, laddies? That'd be a Westie then. Alright, guys, we're gonna start heading back to the car, push towards Venice, and uh, push yeah. It. What are we gonna push? push? It all the way to we're gonna push it all the way. Water. We're out of gas, we're, we're, out we're of gonna. Money. Venice, and uh, push yeah. It. What are we gonna push? All right, we're at a Lidl right now. We need to get some food, obviously, for the night on the island, so naturally I start in the chocolate aisle. Let's see for the night on the Surprise! Okay, we already went to the car, we already got our stuff, and we're walking to the train station now. Not really sure uh, what we're walking into here, so let's find out. That's pretty cool. It's not something you see. A city with a, a lock canal in it. It's not something you see. A city with a bus. I think you can come here. The problem just is uh, if you decide to come back, uh, how to organize that. No. You want now? Yes, yes, we want now. Okay, let's go. Uh, 120. Yes. Will you take us? Yes. You. Okay. We got someone. No. <laughs> Yo guys, all right, I cannot believe this. We actually got a guy who's gonna take us to this island. All right guys, so we're on our way to the hidden island right now. It dates back to like the fifth century, an island for the Black Plague. So when it was throughout Europe, they used to put the patients on there. Uh, they say it's haunted. They say there's a lot of different things. But yeah, bro, yo, dude, that was sick, bro. <laughs> yeah, so. let's enjoy the ride. I feel special. Do you feel special? I, I feel, feel special, I feel special right, now. right now. I do. I feel special, bro. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually got decapitated here. The island itself sits about five kilometers, maybe three miles off the coast of Venice specifically. So we're going to go out now, I think, over to the open water. Oh, this is so sick, bro. Yo. <laughs> Dude, look at the super yacht. It's some Russian billionaires here, bro.
Savi, Dangerous. Grazie. Ciao, see you tomorrow. Now we're on our own, guys. We made it to the island. This used to be a uh, island for the Black Plague at one point. A few people tried to buy it, but it, uh, none of the purchases went through in anything. A lot of interesting history here. Yeah, I'm really excited, guys. This is gonna be cool. It's supposed to be really haunted. Some spooky ghosts around. I feel this is like the start of a horror film, and it's like the three friends go on to a haunted house, and oh yeah, it's a lot of fun, and then they're all dead or something. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be Italy without the pizza. We don't know which town we need to find some place to sleep. Yeah, I agree. Let's look around. Okay. Is somebody possessed in the night let me know? I'll let you know. It's just one of us is floating. All right, home sweet home. I'm glad I have dry shoes. Oh yeah. And bro, like that's the thing. Seriously, man, like yeah. All right guys, unpacking here. We're gonna get our stuff ready for the night. Take out the sleeping bag. Yep. Science experiment. This table was a damn good idea. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It really would not be a proper Italian dinner without pasta. It's like I just did enough water. Oh yeah. All right. So a ladies and gentle fish. You know what this calls for guys? Some chorizo. There we go, guys. Some chorizo. Whatever type of pasta this is. Mm. How's your tea? Amazing. Amazing. All right, guys. So we are all snuggled up in our sleeping bags, ready for the night. We are just in this abandoned room. Tomorrow, though, when we get up, we're going to go hopefully explore the island a bit more just to check out. There's a bell tower. There's a few different things we want to see. So it's definitely going to be interesting. Till then, guys, good night. Buenos dias. So we got good news. The good news is we were not probed by the spirit of Akhman Ra. The bad news is there is no bad news. I just have to get out of bed. We want to explore the island first. We got about four hours before our guy would be scheduled to pick us up. Explore the island. We're going to see what this place is about. Go to that tower. Tower actually is where one of the doctors who was really evil and he used to experiment and murder his patients on this island went insane and actually jumped off of that tower and committed suicide suicide has a really dark history yeah let's get going guys i'm excited to see what this place has to offer basically guys specifically this island is considered one of if not the most haunted place on earth i wasn't aware of that and we slept pretty good so i was telling the guys that i also read that 50 percent of the soil on this island they believe to be human ash the reason is because over the hundreds of thousands of people that were killed and cremated certain plants like grapevines used to grow and now they stopped ever since the tuberculosis outbreak and they used to cremate people. That's the theory of it. Another thing is human bones still to this day wash up on the shore of this island. Very sad to the people what happened on this island, but we're gonna go see. We're gonna start heading towards that tower now. I always think to myself when I'm in places like this, I mean, how fast nature reclaims itself, I mean, you can just see vines growing through concrete on the walls, the roof, collapsing it's and it's it's so silent here i mean if you took the birds out of the equation it is so silent such an interesting place there it is. oh shoot this is the tower you're right oh yeah oh there is a ladder <laughs> spooky uh, are we doing this really really one out of ten all right i'll give you a shout Okay, with minimal convincing, that is going on first. Well, it's a little weird because once you get up here, I think they've disabled it, bro. See where this white 
It collapsed. I don't see anything from there to the top, bro. I know. Allegedly, the doctor that used to experiment on these poor people went crazy and committed suicide jumping off this tower, so maybe that's part of the reason why the ladder is completely taken apart. Maybe it fell down, who knows? Past those wooden beams here, there's nothing to the top. So maybe that's part of the... You know, they bricked off the holes at the top. Well, I suppose it's not the end of the world. We were lucky to get on this island to begin with. If the doctor did commit suicide and jumped off it, I can understand why they boarded it up and pretty much made it a no-go for anyone who wants to climb. That's always important. So maybe we'll just go to the roof and check it out like that and take it from there, guys. But nice warm day. So. Yeah, I'm good. No, bro. Checkmate! You had Venice in the distance there behind Checkmate and his water tower. I want to go climb that water tower actually. Shy and I are going to go over now. <laughs> Interesting place. Just the history of the island. So much destruction. And yet, it seems so peaceful now. You would never have known. Very creepy. Just the history of the island. All right, Doc. Lead the way. Yeah, Okie dokie, artichokey. All right, guys. Yep, this is the water tower he was on. I'm just going to do it the interesting way. Meet you at the top. Wow, I don't know why it reminds me, but it kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park. Well, I'll talk about a tight squeeze, holy crap. It's a tight squeeze, bro. You can stick your head out, though. Smells like pigeon poop in there, guys. Wow, it was a sailboat. So we were just on that roof right there. That's the tower that's bricked off. We can't climb any higher. Oh yeah, that's dried up for a long time. Water storage facility. <laughs> oh, there was a ladder here. Well, I went up the interesting way. All right, I'm gonna go to the last buildings now. You know, the most eerie part about this is probably the hundreds, if not thousands of people that obviously died on this island during the time of tuberculosis more than likely would have all made their way to this tube at one point. I mean, it is very, very unsettling just being reclaimed by nature now. And you, I mean, you know, it took me a few minutes to even figure out what it was. It's important to document things like this. So, you know, when they are eventually gone, the videos will hopefully last for a lot longer than it takes for something to decay. So one of the reasons why I filmed, but I wouldn't want to be cremated, man. Definitely buried, not cremated. It's just a horrible thought. I'm not entirely sure what these machines are. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. I'd be very curious to understand what those machines are. Hmm. I assume that would have been the chimney. The exhaust for the, the furnace would have come out of. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go get our stuff now and get off the island. It was fun. Still is fun. All right. There is our guy right on time. Back in the stalker taxi, boys. Or we could just do it ourselves. 
Alright guys, so we made a decision what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the train back to the car, get the car. We're then going to head down south to this factory chimney area. Keep the trip going strong guys, that's the goal right now. So we're waiting for our train right now, just enjoying the canal. Going strong guys, that's the goal right now. <laughs> Our car got flowered on. All right, guys, we made it to the car. Awesome, I can sit and then start heading towards that factory with the chimney. So we want to get there before the sun goes down. It's been a long day, it's already 4 p.m. We're gonna get going. All right, guys, right now we're at an undisclosed location by a river. We found a place to sleep. It's gonna be all right. Roof overhead, shielded from the wind. It's nice. We're walking down this way here, guys. And uh, off to the side of the road is this little hut. And we're gonna go inside the hut and set up camp. All right, guys, here we are. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, this is our humble of O for the night. Hmm. I guess I get the room tonight. All right, guys, time to unpack. Okay, guys, we're back in the car. Sorry for the cutscene. Basically, when we went outside to take a breath of fresh air, security saw us, kicked us out, and uh, yeah, now we got to find another place to sleep, basically, because that place is baited out. So, it's part of the game, guys. So we're just gonna keep driving until we find something. Definitely escorting us out of here. We found a spot after looking at a couple different abandoned things that we know about, but tonight we're just gonna chill and that's gonna be pretty much it. We're just gonna pretty much sleep in here. We're just clearing out the area. And yeah guys, so we're gonna get set up for sleep. All right guys, we are all ready for bed. As always, every night we do this. I'm not sure if that's a standard thing where you guys live, but for me, I like to sleep. You have Shy, who doesn't want to put on his mask, so he's just, <laughs> he's, put, he's put his head in the sleeping bag. Get up early tomorrow and just, we're gonna contemplate what we want to do, so. 